Welcome to One World Ham Radio. This is KG7YDD. You are watching part 2 of MMDVM with Bystar Setup. There's a part 1 video that goes over getting your DMRR ID, hotspot security access, and preparing as SD card for hotspot. Once these steps are completed, you are now ready for part 2. Once you're logged in into pi-star.local with your default username pi-star and default password raspberry, in about 10 seconds you will be taken to the screen. Okay, first option is I'm using a duplex repeater, which is this one right here. And here's the instructions that came with it. And here's my full build of a hotspot. So once you select the options here, click on apply changes. By clicking on apply changes and filling out the section, you'll be prompted for new sections that go according to your choices that you just, just have chosen. This takes a few seconds. And then the warning is the modem has been updated. Just close it. And you want to choose all the cross modes that you will be using. I'm using YSF to DMR. But to do that one, I have to also do YSF mode. I'm using FT3D to cross mode to DMR. And this right here, display is OLED type 3. If yours is bigger than an inch, it's probably type 6 or any other uh, display that you have that you'll be using. That's pretty much it for that section and apply changes. Click on close. Okay, next step is general configuration. Just keep it pi dash star, keep it as is. If you're gonna change it, your address here changes as well. This is where you put in your call sign. And this is your DMR ID. Now this is where you put in your frequency of your hotspot. So the frequency that worked for me is 434 megahertz. And then transmit on 428 megahertz. Be sure to keep them at least five megahertz apart. Also check the band plan to make sure your hotspot will not interfere with frequencies that are being used internationally for uh, satellite communication because they can be disrupted by low power hotspot transmission. Now for your radio, you will do the opposite. Your TX on your radio, your transmit frequency will be 434 megahertz, and your receive frequency will be 428. So it's opposite on your radio when you program it. This is your location, your latitude and longitude. Go ahead and fill that in. You can also find it on Google Maps by dropping a pin at your location. This is where you put in your town and state, your country. This is the URL that you want to be using for uh, Pi Star. You can use, uh, you could just leave it as is or use QRZ. Some people use that. I'll just leave it as is for now. This, the next step is radio modem type. This is our hotspot, our repeater. It's going to be dual hat, this guy right here, for Pi with GPIO pins. Uh, next step, I'm going to keep this off. This is so to make location public, I'll keep that off. APRS host, this is the area you're located. I'm in North America. This is your time zone dashboard language that you prefer. I choose English US and then click on apply changes. Okay, we scroll down to the next section. Here's we here's what we have to fill out for Yesu system fusion. 
Since we are doing the cross mode in this video, we're going to do YSF to DMR. If you're doing a different type of mode, you can go ahead and choose. And here's where wires X pass through, you want that on. I'll just leave this, the uppercase host files just on. This is where your DMR ID shows up. DMR master, this is your location. I'm in the United States. Here's three options for, I will choose, go ahead and go with the first one. Now hotspot security, this is the one you get it at Brandmeister, the one you write, um, the one you created at Brandmeister account. Go ahead and fill that in. DMR talk group. This field right here, you can uh, put in any talk group you want to be connected uh, as soon as your hotspot turns on. If you don't want to be connected to any talk group, go ahead and put in 4000. And then click on apply changes. Okay, we're going to scroll down for the next section. Okay, mobile GPS configuration. I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to skip it. Firewall, keep it as is. Configure Wi-Fi. This is where you can connect to your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and click on configure Wi-Fi. You can scan for networks. It takes about 10 seconds, or you can do it manually. You can click on scan, and it scans for the wireless network. That way, if you put in a password, connect to your Wi-Fi, you don't have to do Ethernet connection, your hotline uh, connection next time. Or you can also connect to your phone, turn on your phone and connect it that way too. So if you want to take it on the go with you. So then you click on select and then put in a password. Now, this section at the bottom, this is where you change that default password Raspberry to your own password. And here's a warning sign. This changes the password for this admin page in the PyStar SSH account. Thank you for watching. If this is helpful to you, feel free to share, like, and subscribe. 73.